I'll start with uh, what's happening uh, at this hour. There are protests that are ongoing. Uh, they've been going for the past couple of hours, as they have every night, although tonight the protests are, are bigger. There are somewhere between 150 to 200 people who came out in front of the police department uh, tonight. Uh, they pushed onto the police property and then uh, pulled back a bit, and there was a tense standoff between police wearing their riot gear and protesters who were starting to throw things like water bottles, uh, the vast majority of them standing on the opposite side of the road and, and the two just sort of looking at each other and, and, and the chance coming from the protest, something that we have seen on a nightly basis. Uh, let's now talk about some of this new leaked information that has come out. It's the first time that the public has here heard a couple of, of these details. Uh, the autopsy report from the St. Louis County Medical Examiner's Office, the official autopsy report, was leaked to the St. Louis Dispatch. Uh, we did get a hold of a copy of that autopsy and confirmed with the county official who has information and is privy to information of this investigation, uh, that it is the official copy, that is an accurate copy of the report. And in that report, it talked about a couple of things that have really set people off here. One, it talked about the wounds to Michael Brown's hand. Uh, and what experts say that showed is that there was definitely a struggle, and it can be proven forensically, at the patrol car. Uh, the other one is causing much more trouble, and it has to do with forensic evidence that could show whether or not Michael Brown's hands were up as he was being shot. We showed the autopsy report to a forensic expert who took a look at it, every detail, and he told us, as have a two other uh, forensic experts, that it does not appear from the entry and exit wounds on Michael Brown's body that his hands were up while he was being shot. What it does not tell you is whether or not between those lulls, there was a lull in between a, a, a time that it was quiet, between the first time he was shot at the car and when he was eventually shot and killed, whether or not his hands happened to be up and came down at some point. But a lot of the forensic experts who have looked at this paperwork say it doesn't appear that his hands were up when he was shot and that is causing a lot of frustration here people saying they are very concerned about what this means to the investigation